हेलो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ मिस शीलार पूर्णिमा डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्माकोग्नेसी एट अरविंद गवई कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मसी सो हियर आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द क्रूड ड्रग्स वेयर वी आर नोइंग रिगार्डिंग द क्रूड ड्रग्स दीज आर नथिंग बट द ड्रग्स व्हिच आर ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द नेचर इन देयर क्रूड फॉर्म दैट इज अ लिस्ट प्रोसेसिंग इज कैरीड आउट ऑन दैट ड्रग and that is used for the purpose of medicine that is these drug are possessing some medicinal values and that is to be used for the treatment purpose okay so regarding the classification we are starting with the classification why there is need or what what is the importance of this classification that is this classification is generally carried out for scientific and systematic study so because of this the scientific uh, classification or the scientific uh, groupism of the drugs can be made as also it uh, will helps to st systematic study of that drug it makes simple study of the drug also a huge number of drugs can be studied in a systemic way so uh, if we are classifying the drug as per their activities or as per their medicinal uh, properties so it becomes easy to study which kind of drug is used in which kind of a particular um, disease or disease condition it also saves times it is easy to study and remember the properties of the drugs it gives correct and accurate information about the drugs and it helps in practical work so now we will start with this classification of the crude drug that is the crude drugs are obtained from the natural sources like plants animals and minerals so these drugs are used in the treatment of various diseases and ailments of the human beings it is for the treatment purpose these are commonly used hence for the systematic and scientific study of this drug it is essential to classify these drugs in a proper way okay so the classification of these drugs in a proper way is necessary due to huge number and varied nature of it it is difficult to put them in uniform pattern so no particular pattern is uh, sufficient for the classification of this drug because there are a large number of uh, uh, crude drugs present in the nature okay so for pharmacognostic purpose drugs can be arranged in one of the following classes that is alphabetical classification taxonomical classification morphological classification pharmacological classification chemical classification chemotaxonomical classification and as per the source and the nature of the crude drug so first that is the alphabetical classification so obviously it is in simplest way of classification so as the name indicate we are going to classify the drug on the basis of their alphabets okay so the drugs are arranged according to the alphabetical order either in latin or english names these are considered for this type of classification okay so this system is adopted by different pharmacopias so uh, while searching any kind of a pharmacopia we are going uh, to search the particular Um, substance in the pharmacopoeia by uh, by means of its names means the pharmacopoeia classifies the drug on the basis of its alphabets okay so for herbal drugs or other uh, different pharmacopoeias like indian pharmacopoeias british pharmacopoeia british pharmaceutical codex united state pharmacopoeia european pharmacopoeia where as in international pharmacopoeia drugs are arranged according to their latin names okay so uh, this method uh, is having some advantages and disadvantages like this is an useful method for official books it is a simple method adding of drug is e easy because of alphabetical uh, adding is carried out location and tracing of a drug is also easy and no technical person is required any person can uh, make the list of a drug in alphabetical order well the disadvantages are do not differentiate between organized and unorganized drug okay means cellular uh, drugs and the non cellular drugs do not give idea about the sources of a drug from where it is obtained and do not gives idea about the chemical constituent and the therapeutic activity that means medicinal value cannot be mentioned in case of this drug 
Next class that is the taxonomical classification. So in this the drugs are arranged according to the botanical classification. What is mean by botanical classification? That means it is based on the consideration of natural re relationship between plants and animals. That is a large number of plant families have certain distinguishing characteristics that permit crude drugs from these families to be studied at a time. Okay. So, uh, simply we can say that in this system the crude drugs are arranged in a group according to their kingdom, sub-kingdom, phylum, sub-phylum, class, sub-class, division, order, family, genus, species, etc. Okay. So, on this basis on certain types of these classes are made and on that class basis of these classes the plant or whatever the crude drug it is then classified. For example, I have taken that is the drug phenyl which is having the genus that is angiosperm. The angiosperm means it bears flowers. Class is dicotyledonous. Order is umbelliferi. Family is again umbelliferi. Genus is foeniculum and species is vulgari. Okay, so on this basis this classification is carried out where the advantages are it gives idea about the order, family, etc. While it develops the chemotaxonomical relationship. Means from this we can just come to know what kind of a chemical constituents these are present. While the disadvantages are do not differentiate between organized and unorganized drug. Technical person is required for this. Location and tracing of the drug is not easy. And do not give idea about chemical constituents and the therapeutic activity. As well as non-living things are not classified by means of this classification. Then third is morphological classification. It is, it is again a simple method of classification where the drugs are classified upon, according to their parts. Where uh, here the classification is again carried out as a organized and unorganized. Where organized means the plant is particularly possessing the parts like leaves, fruits, roots, stems, wood, bark, etc. While in case of unorganized, they are either in the form of latex extracts, juice, raisins, etc. For example, the part if it is a whole plant, if a drug is used, leaves, vasaka, flower, rose, fruits, example is fennel, wood, sandalwood, for and for unorganized, the latex of papaya it is used, juice of aloe is used, gums of acacia, fixed oils from castor oil and waxes from beeswax are used. Where the advantages are Convenient method for student and practical purpose. Additional of the drug is easy. Uh, then location and tracing of the drug is again easy. It gives idea about the morphology and adulteration can be identified easily. While the disadvantages are do not give idea about chemical constituent and the therapeutic that is medicinal properties. Do not give idea about the source of drug, processing of drug and preparation for the market change. Their characteristic while making recognition difficult means whatever the processes are carried out because of that there may, uh, may occur some morphological changes uh, difficult to classify mineral drugs. Okay. Then next class is pharmacological classification. So it is based on the pharmacological action means what kind of medicinal values are present in that drug on that basis the classification is generally carried out that is uh, the particular chemical constituent is responsible for the therapeutic activity. Okay. So according to this these are classified into two groups that is acting on particular part and uh, what kind of drug is used in the treatment. So, for example, I have taken uh, the drugs acting on GIT like carminative, uh, cardamom is used, bitter, synchona, uh, laxative, uh, banana, isabgul, uh, purgatives, senna, castor oil, emetics, ipikakuna. While uh, the drugs acting on CVS, it includes cardiotonics like digitalis, cardiac depressant like synchona, vasoconstrictor like ergot and ephedra, antihypertensin like raulfia. The advantages are medicinal use can be understood. Even if chemical constituents are not known, drugs are grouped according to the action and drugs with different uh, mechanism of actions but same therapeutic action can be grouped together. Okay, So, uh, the disadvantages are do not give idea about the morphology, it do not give idea about the source of drug and same drug having different actions are placed in more than one category okay means having more medicinal values it is categorized or classified into different classes 
then chemical classification that is on the basis of active con chemical constituent which is present like carbohydrate proteins alkaloids glycosides volatile oils okay so the constituents like alkaloids it is present in opium vinca glycoside present in senna alo proteins present in gelatin resin in benzoin and mir tannins present in catechu while the other constituent like carbohydrates in acacia and tragacan lipids in arachis oil and beeswax volatile oil in fennel and coriander steroid in digitalis and chatavari vitamins in shark oil and yeast where the advantages are chemical constituents and medicinal use can be understood and it is useful for phytochemical study while the disadvantages do not gives idea about morphology drug containing two or more chemical constituent can get appropriate placement and a technical person is generally that is skilled person is required for such kind of a classification the next is again chemo taxonomical so it is the combination of taxonomy as well as the chemical method of classification where it is and recent method of classification in which the phytochemical screening of a several drug have been done and which gives close relationship between the chemical constituent and its taxonomy that is the secondary metabolites which are present these are responsible for particular uh, therapeutic activity so on that basis this classification is carried out where it gives idea or information about taxonomy and chemical constituents and also it is the recent uh, scientific method of classification and the disadvantage is that is the technical person is required for such kind of a classification and the next is as per the source so from which sources these are obtained that is plant source animal source or mineral source for example plant source glow vinca digitalis you can write anything uh, the drug which you know then from animal cod liver oil beeswax shark oil and from mineral starch kaolin asbestos etc well as per the nature Uh, where it is obtained in the liquid form that is oils uh, shark liver oil arachis oil semi solid form that is wool fat base packs and solid form that is divided into organized and unorganized categories okay so we will just uh, summarize the classification that is alphabetical uh, as per the latin and english word it is given uh, in ip bp bsp bp uh, bpc as well as usp and the advantages are simple useful addition of drug is easy and no technical person is required while the disadvantages are organized unorganized uh, drugs can be uh, cannot be differentiated no idea about the source chemical constituent and activity of drug well in case of taxonomical botanical classification that is it gives a uh, natural relationship between the drug and uh, its taxonomy certain distinguishing characteristics are used for the classification purpose where the advantages like it gives idea about the order chemo taxonomical relationship of the plant or the crude drug while disadvantages that is organized one organized drug cannot be differentiated uh, here no technical person uh, here technical person is required while uh, chemical it does not gives any idea about chemical constituent and the activity therefore morphological uh, according to the part of plant it is used where it is further categorized as the organized and unorganized the advantages are it is convenient um, for, for addition of a drug and also morphological and adulterants can be identified where it does not gives idea about the source chemical constituent activity and also it is difficult to recognize the particular minerals then uh, in case of pharmacological uh, depending on the pharmacological actions that is what kind of a chemical constituent these are present the advantages are like medicinal uh, use chemical constituents can be known uh, also the mechanism of action of the plant or uh, the particular crude drug is known where uh, the disadvantages are like morphological chemical nature of the source cannot be uh, known where uh, the one drug can be also categorized into the number of group because of uh, because it contain many properties or uh, uh, many activities you know, on the basis in chemical on the basis of chemical constituents where the chemical constituent and medicinal values can be known but morphological characteristic uh, as well as uh, it requires a particular technical person for classification chemo taxonomical where taxonomical and chemical method these are include where it gives close relationship between the taxonomy as well as the whatever the chemical constituent these are present so according to this taxonomical and chemical constituents can be known and it is the recent method of classification where it again requires technical person